Well, 50 years ago, Title IX changed the landscape for women in sports, and since 1972, female participation in high school sports increased from almost 300,000 to nearly 3.5 million in 2019. And today, half the athletes at North Scott High School signing day were women. News age Jenna Webster shares how they think there's still room to grow for women in sports. It's new tonight on News 8 at 10. North Scott's Grace Graham is trading in her number two Lancer jersey for another shade of red. On three. Committing to play volleyball and track at Maryville University. I got it. If I didn't have sports, I wouldn't really want to have got to know like who I am and like what like I can do to reach my fullest potential. An opportunity that might not have been as easy 50 years ago. I would hope that people don't look at like men and women's sports as like two totally different things and where it has in the past. The passage of Title IX giving women equal access in education, but also increased the number of women's teams in schools, scholarships offered, and women playing sports. It's impacted millions of young women. It's changed a lot. Especially since Grace's mom, Sarah, wore a Lancer jersey herself. Just the aspect of weight training and how important that is, that didn't even start to even evolve until I was in college for girls. This wall of photos right here is all women's state championships from 10, 20 years after Title IX was first enacted. So much progress was made to be able to get to this point right here, but they say there's still so much progress that can be made today. Our women's wrestling program here at North Scott, like that is amazing. She says more historically male sports should open up to women. Like I know that there are some girls that want to play football. Or just changing how we view the game. Because the women's game is just as important as any men's sport. In Eldridge, Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. And it's actually in June that will mark the 50th anniversary of Title IX.